Hi, I'm Furkan, and I'm developing a football game using my own game engine. This video is a quick update on the recent improvements to my physics-based character animation system to achieve a better overall simulation and minimize janky behavior, particularly around the character's hips, several key improvements were made. First, the vertical support force calculations were updated to provide more stable and realistic support. This change ensures that the character maintains a proper pelvis position during each step, which is crucial for realistic movement. By refining these calculations, we can avoid the unnatural shifts and jerks that previously affected the character's motion. Additionally, I added a per joint drag option in the simulation. This allows for setting different air resistance levels for each joint, taking into account the varying masses and the absence of the upper body in the current simulation. These factors needed to be considered to accurately simulate the pelvis and hip joints. With these enhancements, the animation is more natural and less janky, greatly improving the overall realism and experience. In the simulation, the step player and constraint solver sometimes work against each other. For instance, if the planned step for the foot goes beyond the natural reach of the leg, it can disrupt the simulation by pushing the body past its boundaries. This issue was addressed by adding an additional leg constraint stage to the step player, ensuring the foot does not exceed its natural limits, which previously caused the whole body to be dragged unnaturally. However, this is not the ultimate solution. In its final form, the step player should also be physics-based rather than following keyframes. This approach would allow for more dynamic and realistic movements, as the step player would respond to physical forces rather than predetermined paths. While the step path is planned and executed, the orientation of the foot is also specified during the planning stage. To enhance this, I added a roll rotation factor to the step path, making the foot movement appear more natural while it's in the air. The rolling rotation is minimal when the next step is directly in front of the character, but increases significantly when the character turns to the side. This adjustment creates a more realistic transition in foot positioning during turns. I also fixed the reference leg avoider logic to prevent large steps. This logic is responsible for avoiding foot collisions when planning the step path. The error was particularly noticeable when the character moved quickly. By reducing the avoid distance, the character's movements became more organic. To move the body, the main action is continuously changing the position of the pelvis, which is the act of the pelvis driver action. Since the current simulation setup is a simplified version of a real one, the momentum of the body should be handled externally from the simulation. Maybe it was possible internally, but I just found this approach easier and more manageable. Updated drive force mechanics was based on the current force vector, following the target force vector, which is updated from the user inputs. This enables the smooth force transition. This also creates the illusion of momentum conservation, which is noticeable when the character rapidly changes its way to opposite directions. Additionally, this method of force application helps in balancing the character's stability. During sudden movements or changes in direction, the character needs to maintain balance to prevent unrealistic tipping or falling. The smooth drive force transition aids in keeping the character upright and stable, contributing to a more polished and professional appearance of the animation. By continuously refining these mechanics, I'm working towards creating a character that moves and reacts in ways that feel intuitive and satisfying to the user. The goal is to make every action, from a simple walk to a complex maneuver, appear seamless and natural. I fixed some bugs in the step projection calculations that caused incorrect step length predictions, leading to unnatural movements. Although the solution has improved accuracy and fluidity, I am not completely satisfied and will continue refining it. I also introduced a precise movement modifier, making each movement state more responsive and refined. This allows the character to travel more effectively when the modifier button is pressed. However, this doesn't represent the final controller inputs for core gameplay, as there will be plenty of feedback to refine these controls further. With these updates, the character can navigate around the training cones more naturally, while confidently responding to every controller input. Although it's still a work in progress, I'm steadily making improvements. I finally reached the joy of running around with ease. These enhancements not only contribute to better visual presentation, but also improve the responsiveness and stability of the character, making the gameplay feel more polished and enjoyable. Before re-implementing the dribbling and shooting mechanics, it was essential to upgrade the physics-based character controller to enable full locomotion movement. This upgrade was crucial to ensure the movement mechanics were error-free, smooth, and precise, to provide an optimal user experience. 
The improved controller allows for seamless transitions between different states of motion, such as walking, jogging, and running, while accurately responding to user inputs. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on these updates. Would you prefer more frequent updates with less dense content? Your feedback is invaluable as I continue to refine and improve this project. Thank you all for your support and for spending time with me here. See you next time.